Hi everyone, welcome to Workshop Wednesday, November 8th, 2023. I hope you guys have been following me on my um, 12 days of Christmas. Um, I took a break from that so that I could get today's project done. And we're going to be using a brand new online exclusive um, bundle called uh, Garden Meadow. Um, let me show you the card. So this is the card, and this card was really super easy to um, make. I will show you just using all the fun little things, but a couple of reminders. Um, share my video, and this week you'll be entered into win a package of cards. Um, tomorrow's the last day for my um, all occasion. Well, all I say all occasion, but it's... Um, let me click my iPad real quick. All occasion um, card class, but this month we're gonna be doing all Christmas cards this way. Um, you'll make two each of each card. So you'll go home with eight cards and envelopes to, um, for this month's class. So again, just tomorrow's uh, is the deadline for the registration. So I'll post the registration link after the video. And then if you want today's PDF tutorial, just go ahead and um, join my email list. And I'll put the link to that on the top of this video when we're done as well. If you're watching it on YouTube, it'll be below the video with all the details. And if you're watching it on YouTube, give me a like at the end of the video. Um, the algorithm. <laughs> You can never say the word algorithm. <laughs> it all helps. So if you give me a like, I appreciate so it. For this card, let's go ahead and get some Highland Heather um, Highland Heather cards, and we're gonna do four and a quarter by eleven. So four and a quarter by eleven, and you can fold it in half or score it at five and a half. And then, let's burnish this, but we're going to cut our other piece is going to be, um, five, it's going to be four and one eighths by five and three eighths. We just want it that eighth bit bigger, um, four and one eighths. I'm thinking about my DSP that I'm going to cut. So I'm not, so we're going to need this and this. And I didn't even show you, this is the um, bundle that we're going to be using. And this is going to be coming, well, it's out now. It's an online exclusive. I was going to say it's coming out November 7th, but that was yesterday. So this is the stamp set. And then there's a lot of dies. We're going to use a few of them. And then here's this beautiful paper that you don't even have to do anything. The paper does, look at... Um, these are just beautiful card card fronts that you can use. I just happen to go with this piece. So this piece, we're gonna cut it four and a quarter, um, or five and a quarter by four. Can get that back in there. And what I did is on this, cause I kind of wanted to get this section in there. So I'm gonna cut an inch off of this side and then we're going to have to flip it over to get our four inch. And then I'm going to cut five and a quarter. So it's five and a quarter by four. But I just cut this, some of this off so that I could get this stream in it. I think that's a stream, right? Okay. So... We are going to die cut this piece with this archway. I might have stamped, just maybe stamped the other ones and die cut. So this, I just went up a little bit from the, the edge, maybe, what is that, like a half inch? 
maybe like a half inch from the bottom. And we'll die cut this. I've already seen so many beautiful cards um, made with this. And we're just going to use this piece here made with this um, bundle. <clears throat> so I'm just going to add some glue around the edges of this piece. This is the front. This is the back. And we're going to glue that to that archway uh, this bundle is so much fun like I said this designer series paper that pretty much makes card making so easy so there see I just wanted to get a little bit of the stream even though yes it's gonna be covered up a little bit by the um by the fence so I'm not gonna adhere this just yet because I think it'll be easier if we adhere our pieces to this first so we are going to stamp all this stuff's going to get stamped on very vanilla because we're using very vanilla and we're going to stamp the fence first which is copper clay and we're going to stamp this in copper clay. And then I think this is a one and a half by three and a quarter piece of card stuff, a very vanilla, I should say. And then <clears throat> I have some more here just for these little bitty pieces that we're going to stamp. We're gonna stamp the rain boots or the boots, the watering can, and then these are actually gonna get stamped on smoky slate. And those are the only ones that I used to color of cardstock. And as you can tell, it's a scrap. So we're gonna stamp the boots in memento, the watering can in memento, and then let's stamp our little gardening tools over here on this. And there are little tiny dies for these. Oops. <laughs> so let me show you a couple of tricks. You know me, my Winkastella. What did I do with Winkastella? I just had it. Oh, it's hiding in my bin. All right, so the fence, we're gonna color it in with the Winka Stella. So see how it pulls that ink? So then that way we don't have the, like a solid color on the fence. It just blends it, kind of gives it a little rustic look. And we'll do the other side as well. But just use that Winka Stella to, and then you're gonna have a sparkling fence too. We like sparkles. If I had done this part right away, it would have pulled more ink, but just make sure you don't have no ink on that. Clean it. We'll cut these ones. I am gonna use a smoky slate blend, and I'm gonna just use the light one, and I'm gonna color in these handles. Just like so. All right, so now let's color in our boots. Oops, this ribbon keeps coming. So our boots, we're using Daffodil Delight and I'm gonna use the dark. And I'll color these in dark, color the top in dark, and then we'll just outline some pretty big lines in the dark. And then we're just gonna blend it with our light and blend. And I'm sorry if the squeaking bothers you. I don't know why my my daffodil delight blend squeaks. It's probably because I use it quite a bit, but the dark didn't squeak. So just keep blending that dark line in. 
And I think that looks pretty good. And let's do the same with our balmy blue. My thing's cracked. <laughs> so this keeps coming out. See, it's cracked right there. So I got to get some crazy glue. I was afraid if I crazy glued it, then I might not get it out. But we'll just outline all of this. And kind of do the same around here. Go with the little dark. And I didn't put no, no line on this side with the dark. <clears throat> and then we're just gonna blend it all with the light. Oh wow, this one's squeaking too. Let's keep blending that in. I love my blends. And then just keep working it, working it. So it kind of has that little shadow on it. All right, I think that is good. Put these blends out of the way so that I don't, I'm over here messing with my iPad because I want to make sure I'm not missing anybody's comments. So all of these are going to get die cut. <clears throat> like I said, there's a die cut for everything. I'm probably going to have to tape some of these too. Here's our fence. So I can fit everything on here. I'm probably going to, I'm just going to tape it. Just so it don't move anywhere. We have our boots. And I'll take that one. And this one wants to move. So I'll tape that one. I got another piece of tape here. I have this tape everywhere. And we are going to do our little tools. Here's our little shovel. You know, I was going to get my new plates out, and I didn't. I can't believe I didn't get them out. Last night when I was creating this card, I'm like, I got to get my new plates. That one might be okay. I do have another piece of tape, but okay, let's snap, crackle, and pop these. And get this out of the way so we can get all our pieces. Since they're taped, they're stuck. So there's the fence. Here's our little tools. Aren't those so cute and tiny? I love anything to do with gardening because I like to garden. I like to do a vegetable garden every year. So here's our watering pot. I think I told you guys a story of something was eating my plants and I couldn't figure it out and it was the birds. The least one that I expected. I thought it was like a squirrel or I don't know, something. Okay, so we're going to go back to this piece. <clears throat> And we're going to cut this fence in half. Right like so. And then there's two ways of doing these. It's up to you so that we can make it bend. I'm just going to score right on here. You can fold it. You can do whatever. Try to score between here. I don't want it to move. I could probably use tape too, but we're just going to score. We're going to put a little score line on these so we can bend it. But like I said, you can just fold it if you want, but I wanted to show you how to score it as well and then score. I can't get this out. I went and had my nails done because I needed a manicure. I hadn't had one in a while. I usually do my own, and he really chopped them. 
So now I feel like I don't have nails to grasp anything. So we're going to add just a strip of glue to where we um, bent it. Bent it, folded it, whatever you want to call it. And glue it to the bottom there where the bottom meets. And do the same with the other side. And I just wanted to add this fence so it looks like you're going into the garden. All right, so like I said, these pieces now we're gonna, I'm just gonna add a little dot of glue so that I can stick my little pitchfork or rake, not a pitchfork, <laughs> to it. We'll let that dry and we're gonna add a dimensional to the boots. <clears throat> Those are gonna go here on the corner. We're gonna add a dimensional to our watering can. And put that one in this corner. And we are going to glue these little guys. And just add a little strip of glue. Doesn't take a lot for this glue, just for them to be right there. Okay, so now this whole piece, we're gonna add some dimensionals because we're gonna add dimensionals it, it, to layer it onto the card front. Today, you guys want to see a sneak peek of my 12 Days of Christmas project? Today, I will not be live. I have to mention I will not be live. I have to record that video as soon as I'm done. Um, today's Wednesday. That's my family dinner day. I go out every Wednesday with my uncle, my 95-year-old uncle, like I mentioned that before. And so we do dinner so I'm using the Essentials Twine Pack, and I'm pulling out the, I think this one's very vanilla. And we are going to tie a bow. So I'll have a pre-recorded video for you, so please be sure and come back to see it. It'll post at 5 o'clock once I get it recorded. And on this little guy, I'm going to need these tweezers to hold it because I want it to be tight. We're going to tie a bow. Oops. Tie a bow. Let's take these guys out. Tighten it. Kind of want your boat to be a little bit big. Oops, I'm sorry. Was my head in the camera or did I just bump the camera? Okay, so move that up. And we're going to use, this is new, pecan pie ribbon. I think it's pecan pie and very vanilla. But we're going to make a bow with this. It was unraveling in my bin. <clears throat> so just make a bow, a regular size bow with it. Tighten your bow. Snip the ends. Oops. Snip. And we're going to get some glue dots. And we're going to add this bow on top of our other bow. Just some more texture to the card. Like so. And then look at these amazing, you know how we have the brass butterflies? Well, now we have um, birds and dragonflies. So I only added a couple of birds to mine. And this is These are all in the online exclusives. So you have to go into the online exclusives to find them. And we're going to add a bird over here and a bird over here. And we need to add a piece of very vanilla into the inside. So I have this one. Let me cut it. <coughs> Excuse me. I still have that little bit of a scratchy throat. 
So it's going to be five and a quarter by four. And we're just going to put that on the inside so that it matches. And you know what else you could do? I didn't even... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Darn it. We're going to add a piece of that DSP to this. You know, sometimes just adding a little, a little strip makes a difference. So, ah, I used the side of this piece that was dirty. But maybe I'll have um, something to clean it. So like this, let's just cut this like at... Um, Hmm, this is five and a quarter. Let's cut this and go five and a quarter. And let's go about, let's do three quarters of an inch. Now, I didn't do this to my original, but I fear we'll add it here. I could either add it, I could add, actually add it to this side to cover up that little... <laughs> That little bit of dirt. Usually these erasers work pretty good. But anyhow, this is going to cover it. So remember, this is three quarters by five and a quarter. And we'll just add it to the edge. There. And then it matches our... I'm moving it around. Matches our... Front. Should we put a bird inside? What do you guys think? Hmm. So you could always add a bird. I'm gonna add a bird. Let's add the little guy over here. So cute. So there's our card. You open the gates and you're going into the <laughs> not the forest. Wilderness, garden. So there is our card. I hope you guys like it. And don't forget to join me at 5 o'clock today. Again, it will be a pre-recorded video. But, oh, let me get my project. It's a little Santa box. And you'll have to join me at 5 o'clock to see what's inside. <laughs> but... It's a little Santa box. All right, everyone. I hope you have a good day and um, come back this evening and see me at five o'clock with that little Santa box. You guys take care. Bye.